Hey, Miles. No. Thank you. Kill yourself, then. You. All right, welcome to Nexus Core. Um, your boy, the sick hose. The sick. I am hose the sick. You know, with the print, with quotations at the end. Is it quotations? Like the blood. Oh my god. Anyways. <laughs> Was that, was that with sick with two C's or one or like C or with two, a Q? with two C's like uh, thick? Uh, okay. Just just out of curiosity, like what's what's the deal with like the other map designs that you were gonna do? I, I have no idea. Okay. I'm still trying to get my shit together. Oh really? Right. You needed to get the program starter the is or... um hard rod Draco kid, stiff dick. <laughs> Thanks, BB. <laughs> what it does is uh, rest it. Your, choose, your opponent chooses a unit from their drop zone and binds it. And if they don't have any units in the bind zone, you counter charge one, then gain, blo ah, gain plus 3k. It's really good. Uh, is it GB1? It is not GB1 restricted, which is amazing, honestly. Amazing, incredible, busted. Uh, <laughs> what are the other ones? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it was, it was amazing. It was used like 30 times. Keep yeah, and, and its second skill is counter blast one, shoved into the soul. Um, your opponent chooses a unit, retires it, and binds it, and you choose a unit and give it 3k. And you can use both of those skills in the same turn. This isn't Yu-Gi-Oh! where you can only use one skill once per turn. So that's nice. Love that starter. Next. Uh, for sparking, I can use... Can I, yeah, looks okay-ish. Let me read it off the card. Skill is, first skill, Thunder Strike 4 at the beginning of your ride phase, counter charge 1 or soul charge 1. Your opponent chooses a card from his or her drop zone and binds it face up. I'm pretty sure you can use uh, the counter charge 1 even when you have all face up damage, but... Yes, you can. If it's I, worded the way where you can. It's worded, but I'm still... I'm too lazy to ask the email Bushi Road, so... Yeah. We'll figure that out eventually. The second skill is... Counter Blast 1, when your G unit strides, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of... choose a, Your opponent chooses a card from their drop zone and binds it. Then if you start a Thunderstrike unit, uh, they retire and bind something. Works really well with the G unit uh, Vibuster that we'll get to way later. Next. This is honestly my favorite card of the deck. Uh, I run 3. Dragonic... Descendant? Sigma? It's on stride skill, doesn't matter at all. What matters is, is rearguard skill, which is counter blast one. At the end of the battle, this unit's attack did not hit. Uh, pay the cost. Restand. Restand. So this combined with. Uh, everything that powers up your front row. Yeah, literally everything. Let's name the GBA. Um, fucking voltage. Even the Buster gives 5k, but just 5k, but still does. Makes it, powers it up, so... Your opponent... This is really good for late game. Most so, of the time it's my finisher, honestly. Yeah. So, is that the reason why you run it over running another Vanquisher back up? Yeah, also because Vanquisher's ass. Not sparking, but, you know... That, the other one, yeah. Yeah, it's I mean, really terrible. It's okay defensively if you use MP, it gets like plus 3k for the turn. But like, G-Guard didn't exist when it came out, that's so... True. Yeah. So it's like, okay, I guess. But like as like as is tradition, this thing made all the old cards like this set made all the old cards better. Yeah. There you go. All right. Next, uh, grade two is I run two Helena. Uh, GB one Thunder Strike three. When you call it, counter blast one, draw a card, and it gains three K. I run it just because it's always nice to get you know more hand. It's not a minus one when you call it's a break even, so that's nice. Speaking of on call skills. Uh, three plasma tron dragon. Uh, G on place. Um, your opponent chooses a unit from their drop zone and binds it. A lot of people say that this card isn't good, but I disagree. It's kind of underrated, apparently. But by, by, by when I say people, I mean that one cunt on Reddit. <laughs> That's, that card's amazing, especially because you can double up its power. I've gotten this card to over 100k on its own mul in multiple time, multiple games. It's really good. Oh, the skill that does that is Counter Blast 1. Uh, uh, choose... Ah, fuck, what was it? I think it's just Counter Blast 1, it like gets plus 2k. 2k uh, for every bound card. card, yeah. Thank you, Richard. Speaking is hard today. Um, another one. The next card, uh, 3 Grizel. 
when it's chosen as an attack target uh, or targeted by any um, effect, your opponent chooses a unit from their drop zone and binds it. Second skill is Counter Blast 1. If you have a Vanquisher Vanguard, it can attack a Vanguard and a Rearguard in the same battle. So I combo this with the Stand Trigger so I can send the Stand Trigger back into the deck. It's pretty okay combo. Only one in this deck, honestly. Because <laughs> it's control. Control has no combos. And finally, for Chitura. Early game. Early game. It's an 11k beat stick. There might be like three of you asking why I don't run uh, martial arts. It's because it's ass. <laughs> Yeah, martial arts is pretty ass. Not it's like lie. Vanguard only skill. Like, it's just a vanilla. My bad. Thank you, Richard. Uh, like, it's just a vanilla on Rearguard. The 3k gains, I think? Yeah. The 3k doesn't matter when you're gaining like 100k with all your other shit. Also, the card is basically just Chatur, but like a vanilla. Yeah. Because it's like for call, it's for 11. It's kind of the same thing. Honestly, it's just eh. They can attack a rear guard, but what's the point if you have Chatura? Just swing potential draws. Okay, speaking of potential draw, uh, it's a better Phoenix. Better Phoenix. Thunderstrike three, two, two. When it's placed on rear guard circle, um, soul blast one draw. So you're guaranteed to get it. Like yeah. GB one. Like pretty much always guaranteed. Pre GB one too. If you uh, maybe if you like double Chatura. Double well, Chatura. Is, is this a skill GB one? No. Oh, cool. Then yeah. Oh, and you can also use the uh, starter hard rod. Hard rod to get that off too. Yeah, right. that's cool. Next, uh, four stride fodder. Yes. It's needed. Four, uh, PG. The good, good, amazing. Thunderstrike PG. We don't speak of the other Thunderstrike PG. <laughs> like uh, this one, at the end of the battle that it uh, guarded, when it's retired, draw a card. Instead of being a minus two for PGing, it's just a minus one. It's a plus one. No, well, because I think it's a net zero. PGing is a minus. You're right. PGing is a minus. But you're right. It's a minus one. Guarding is a minus, guys. You lose hand. Yeah, that's why you always know guard. Um, for a smash boxer dragon, Jeffrey. uh, better Jeffrey. Triggered. <laughs> Anyways, uh, at the end of the battle, this unit boosted. If you have a vanquisher vanguard, I think. Uh, yeah, a Vanquisher Vanguard, shove it into the Soul Counter Charge 1, and if it boosts a unit with Thunder Strike, and oh, and draw. That's the important thing. Yeah, that's what makes it good. How could I forget? <laughs> and uh, the other skill is when it boosts a unit with Thunder Strike, um, it gives them both kind of like, I think it's resist, but it's not really. They can't be targeted yeah. during the attack. So like, fuck Hetero around, fuck Impede, fuck uh, Denial Skills Griffin. Cannoneer, Denial Griffin, yeah. It's just like a fuck you to all those cards. Traps, basically. Yeah. I don't I never like them. That's why I love them. <laughs> uh four stand triggers. This card last time I checked was like five dollars. Probably less now. Yeah, because the hype died down and yeah. Vanquisher's not as good anymore, sadly. What it does is um it combos well with Grizel. Uh when a unit is sent from the field to the drop zone. Shove, put this unit at the top of your deck, shuffle, draw, unflip. So you just send it back. Triggers back in deck are always good. Yeah. Speaking of triggers uh, getting back in deck, I run one brawler crit. Reason being, I can't afford a third one of <laughs> Recive. So if any of you want to be a good boy for us, send me a, one of these, please. I will really appreciate it. Next, uh, four draw triggers. Run the Phoenix because uh, it's he's adorable. Not the I ain't a furry. <laughs> you I'm a feathery. <laughs> <laughs> a feathery. I run the little peep. And uh, the Fighter's Collection one that lets you unflip if you have one or less face up damage. Uh, and then, let's see. G units now. Four V Buster. This one's skill is when it's placed on, uh, ah, there we go. When it's placed on, no, not when it's placed, what the fuck? Uh, Soul Blast yeah, 1 choose, fast. Soul Blast 1 Persona Flip. Uh, your opponent chooses one card from their rear guards and one card from their drop zone and binds them face up. It does not retire. That's the important part. People uh, have apparently been 
using this, uh, comboing it with the stand and then sending the stand back to the deck, that will not work. Please don't be a retard. Is the stand, um, goes from field to drop, Yeah, right? field to so, drop. Yeah, so it's not field to bind zone. It's, like, it's just, uh, yeah. not when removed from field, it's when it's sent to drop. Drop, got it. So yeah, then choose a three, if you have more rare guards than your opponent, choose uh, three of your units they gain plus 3k. I always forget to use that skill, so like, be patient with me. <laughs> I don't like you, Gabe. I don't like me either. Alright, then Thunderstrike 7, uh, all of your front row gains 5k and a crit and a drive check. It's pretty good. What I like about that, though, is that, like, you don't need to use the flip skill to get the Thunder Strike 7 off. So, you can just stride and stride. Next, uh, the GB8. This one's usually my finisher. It's when it's placed on Vanguard Circle, retire all units on the field, and then send all of your opponent's units in the drop zone and to uh, the bind zone. So, like, and then they all gain 2k. So, like, your, what are they called? I forgot what, your rear, no, the Descendants. They're oh. swinging for over 100k when you boost them. Yeah, and then they re-stand yeah, they for like re Yeah, they're swinging for like yeah. 60k or I higher. Thought, I love it so, I love doing that so much. It's, oh, it's moistening. Are you gonna run a second one? I would, but like, I don't want to. There's no space, is <laughs> Yeah, there? there is no space. If I would run a second one. The only thing I could take out would be Voltage, and I'm not willing to do that, or uh, VMAX, but, you yeah, know. Yeah, VMAX is good. Yeah, it's like, if you can't end it with this, end it with VMAX at least. Yeah. But more, most of the time, you're just gonna end it with a GB8. And Voltage skill, Persona Flip, it gains Zoras' ability, and then uh, it, the GB3. front... GB3, or front row gains uh, 3k for every build. Yeah. So, like, so I that, very that rarely go into it, because really I always, like, end it with the, um, the Buster or the GB8. Uh, next one of Seabreeze. <laughs> Links in the <laughs> description for the what Zebreeze does. Zebreeze? Seabreeze. Uh, VMAX, this card was really underwhelming when it first came out. Oh, yeah. Because Thunderstrike 5 was like... Just like Split Pegasus. Like, and ZZ as a deck. Yeah, it was just ass. But, so look at it, it now. What it does is Thunderstrike 5... What the fuck do you do? I never use you. Yeah, Thunderstrike 5. Counterblast 2 at the end of the battle that this unit attack the vanguard. If your opponent has no rear guards, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your opponent's vanguards and deal one damage. I think it's the first actual killer in this game. Like, damage killer? Well, yeah, damage killer. Technically, there's a D-Rope, there, not D-Rope, there's a Dimension Police card that does that, but it's on hit, so mm -hmm. it's not as good. But that one's just at the end of battle. So that one guarantees if the field's empty. Which, which will most likely don't. always be, because this is Narukami. Yeah. And its second skill get, also guarantees it a lot more. It's when this unit attacks a vanguard, choose one of your opponent's rear guard circles for each face-up card with Vanquisher and its card name, then... That was both the units on the rear guard and the vanguard at the same time. So it's basically brawlers. They went back to their roots with a uh, vermilion. That that um that card also go overrides resist. Yeah, you just swing I love resist that units. so much. So if uh, yeah, if for some reason people don't know that it does that. Yeah, because resist is it can't be targeted by effects. But resist you're not targeting. It can't be attacked. You're you know? So yeah, it's really good. Uh, speaking on the opposite side of the spectrum, though. <laughs> Bulwark. I'm not even gonna say what it does. It's right there. Read, uh, read the card if you want to know what it does. Uh, it's just it. Bulwark Dragon. Such a disappointment. Uh, Why do you run that? I'm actually curious. Because I have nothing else to run. It's between this or the um, Brahma, and this one, like, I can use it early. Then just drop and draw. Uh -huh. it's just for shits. Is that the tech? Yeah. What do you think would be a good? So Brahma would be a good replacement? Brahma or another uh, Bulwark. Okay. Yeah. But I like Brahma more because uh, yeah, it's, it's not free. Bulwark. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I fucking hate Bulwark. Uh, Dismal? For the, for the uh, mirror match, yeah. right? Against their V-Maxes? Mirror match or like, just in general, if there's like, I want to protect a rear guard. Also flip fodder for Impede. Okay. Impede, uh, 
best uh, Flippy G guard in the game. Honestly, I love it. What it does is uh, choose a face down G guardian from your G zone, turn it face up. When it's placed on guardian circle, you might pay the cost. If you do, your opponent chooses one of his or her rear guards, retires it, and binds it face up. Then, if the number of your rear guards is less than your opponent's rear guards by two or more, uh, your opponent chooses another rear guard and retires it. Uh, just kill off their field if you have no field. Anyways, that was the stuck profile. I hope you didn't enjoy it. If you watched this far, please uh, comment down below. Miles smells like hot dog water. So, uh, anyways, that was. Don't this. forget to uh, go on inkgaming.com and get your, uh, your dungaree max. Look, it won't have the special hose edition or the they, Superman I don't think symbol. You can see it on the on the camera, but oh. the, but the, the important part, which is Dungaree, yeah, will be there for it, sure. He's your god. You can even see the I am your guard now. Oh well, they'll see it. They'll see it. Yeah, you'll see it. Anyways, thank you for watching.